The current reigning and defending undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, introducing Saul Canelo Alvarez. Here is the hard hitting, undisputed 154 pound champion of the world, introducing Jermel Iron Man Char boxes you received your instructions earlier as a reminder obey my commands at all times protect yourself at all times touch gloves good luck let's go son the bell and we are underway Jamel Charlo wants to be <laughs> Brian Castaño and certainly not as powerful one of the areas both fighters want to avoid it to establish the jab, there it is. So the trap is, he's known as a good counter puncher as well, but sometimes to, to, to yeah, again, but Canelo loading up on that. He's in his last two fights at a volume. And you know what, what he likes to slip and what he likes to counter the most is the jab. Yeah, the reason that Canelo just moves himself. So these power punches are a smaller sample size because it's early, but the punches are getting yeah, yeah. much work in there themselves. Coming in. The Against uh, Cotto's brother, mm -hmm. Jack, but forced to back up again. Oh, lead left Charlo. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a slow start. You know, he's, he, yeah, he's, he's getting those punches semi oh, like we've had in the past. And oh, I mean, oh, really, oh, we've definitely seen a lot of uh, the old oh, Canelo's with those guys. That was years ago. Oh, there's Charlo throwing the uppercut. He's had the most fights. This is his sixth of Canelo. Comes forward, digs to and Canelo has never been the Charlo. I mean, the way that Canelo... Professional fight has been a professional for nearly two decades, starting at the end of the uppercut, and they were there to keep Canelo off him, despite going to jab. Side jabbed, straight punches, and Charlo laid Canelo in too easy. The ability to a change a fight on a dime. Here's Charlo now, and there's a right hand, but again, Canelo... Can be effective for him. We'll see if it, it can be. But there's single shots from Charlo. Yeah. He's got to throw more. He's got Canelo to continues to go to the body. We stated earlier tonight, Canelo loves to attack you along the ropes. Moving to his right, goes to the body with the left hook. Being muscled by. Remember what happened to Callum Smith? He just suffered the biceps injury. You get the opportunity, you take it. Oh, it's letting it's his hands go. He's been hurt once. Back your team with the jab. Stay off those ropes as Charlo comes back. Oh, Through three rounds, all oh, Canelo. Yeah. And the left hook with those 40-ish punches. <laughs> Speed has not been on his plate. And there's a sharp jab by Charlo. Arsenal and Canelo in this one. Best combinations. The vote is, is that he hits the shoulders a lot. We so need Char uh, Canelo by Charlo. Canelo Alvarez told us the left hook. Of yeah, and just when Charlo was about to, you know, we tried to move a point. Here's a guy who has generational wealth. The big uh, one, nice right hand. You know, key number here is that Charlo trying to fire off the jab, trying to get back. points, not buckled mm -hmm. under any of those power punches. It's a very good weapon, so he's, he's where there is is exactly the way Jamel Tower, which is thinking. Talked about what he did to Callum mm -hmm. Smith. And throughout the, the whole fight, uh, but, you know, it's easier said than done. It's, uh, well, Canelo told him left here in the fourth, and another move. Charlo's been down once against Charlie yep. Bellamy. Got hit with one. And Canelo's left hook at the here, can you know, a hard shot from Canelo to just. I mean, Canelo still more pound for pound, one of the best fighters on the planet. The thing is against Bibble, where he landed only 10. Yeah, yeah think yeah, about yeah. that. He's landed. You mentioned all of the accolades, all of the experience, and what Canelo's been through his last three. Left uppercut. And again, the lane. This is always characteristic of Canelo because we talked about him taking some time to figure it out. weight class. Like, remember what Charlo is attempting to do here. Vintage form here early tonight. Minded, really. Don't throw Sergey Kovalev. What Charlo calls Canelo's best win. But Too easy again. Charlo not throwing the jab. Doesn't know where the punches are going. He, Canelo fakes his body and it hits you. And yet, 
Canelo continues to walk forward. On him down and leading off with the left hook and you know he got the whole round. So focus. He ain't got nothing. You see it, right? Nine punches in the fifth, but not oh, enough. Yeah, and that overhand right that goes around the guard of Charlo. For Charlo, I mean it, not yet, definitely no. not keeping Canelo off of him. He was always very good at him effective as well. He's cutting off the ring well, so I have uh, in the danger zone left. 59 55 at the halfway mark. Nice job. So if there is fatigue by uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez later, but that's down the road. Took body, good head movement there by Canelo again, avoiding the counter attack from Charles. Straight. That's <laughs> left 154 pound champion, Jamel Charles. Give Charlo the fifth round. I thought he landed the more effective shots. It was a close round. Early. But Jamel Charlo has, in other fights, had issues in earlier rounds. Two body into the head. Sharp job. Nice. Nice. getting there, but again, the, the point is they... they finds himself on the ropes again, trying to fight back. Three-punch combination changing. Side. Most of yeah. the times he would just hook his way home. Taking a knee in the round, and that right hand has produced some highs in Canelo's career. Uncorks it again, another right hand. What's happening in this round's actually kind of remarkable. Seven for Jamal Charlo, finds himself in the corner. Canelo unloading the... Left hook behind the guard by Charlo. Ooh. Charlo lands another, but Canelo keeps walking forward. Ooh. Under 30 seconds left in this round. To recover from Charlo, really, because that was a hard right hand. hand. Seven. Another seven, solid seven, seven. right hand. Seven. To kick off round number eight, and a right hand to the body by Canelo. Double jab. No signs. There's not, but oh, that was the right. theory. Yeah, <laughs> because he's, he's afraid of the counter yeah. punching. Yep. I agree. So, so far, he's seen it. Now, overhand right to develop any kind of rhythm from the smothering pressure of Canelo. Canelo uprooted and moved to the high altitude. Yeah. Yeah, some, some hard yeah. shots from Canelo and taking them well. And yet, it's not overwhelming volume here. Knock Canelo Alvarez out with a punch or with one punch. But and, and an uppercut from Canelo there. It seemed like enough to be winning around. Two weight classes above yeah. the weight class that he normally fights. Why does that keep uh, C Canelo at, at breach, uh, entertained with the punches yeah, straight for us? Well, it be based. Because it would likely be the home. Mm -hmm. That being a 10 8 round, it puts Charlo presumably into a knockdown. We believe many of those rounds went again. Mm -hmm. Make it hard for Canelo. But, yeah. and there haven't been too many of those guys. <laughs> Well, again, that's why I bring yeah. up the weight. It's unofficial scoring, of course, in a bigger hole. Trying to keep Charlie Trainer Derek James, James, James wanted to be a little in combination work as well. Speed. Charlo was perceived to have nice to take the risks. And I can see why, of course. So you have the speed. He felt it was important to be heavier. Charlo single shots and first got to the ropes again. Canelo trying to frame him and measure him. He's a good fighter too, so just don't be overconfident. Don't neglect the defense. Let's go. Lead deep. He's showing toughness in taking his power runs. Like Canelo is 15. A lot of combinations from Canelo. Just single shots, heavy shots, definitely. He's, he's not too far off the pace. Probably wouldn't impact this, but we don't know. <laughs> Body combination by Canelo. And there. 15 in 12 round fights. That's pretty extraordinary. That's a lot of trouble. It certainly has had an impact on him. 
According to unofficial score, Steve Hart, he has given And one of those punches created a knockdown. Right hand as Charlo threw the left hook. Chopping. Canelo as Charlo ropes again. Gabriel comprehensively out. Fighting Charlo, but Charlo got that right uppercut from Canelo. Canelo's in rounds, and um, you know, Canelo, Canelo again, not showing anything, yes. especially this late in the fight. A lot of people, you know, jab leading into it. 150 50 jabs. Did that. It hasn't stopped all the movement of Jim. Too much now, Charlo's got to be careful. One, two, through the ground. Fatigue being the 10th round, definitely great, yes. great condition. That he's in. You know, throwing some punches, but again, Canelo straight punches. What I've been saying, you know, for Charlo to throw, they don't have to be powerful. You know, he normally lands, I said, 46% of his power punches. He's doing Jamal Charlo is 3 1 and 1. Now, while Charlo 28 yep. of 232, and there's a lot of lateral movement from Charlo, but no punches. What do you want to do? But then you got to fight it. You got to go get it, man. For his twin brother, this is it. Now or never. Three minutes left. He's trying to knock off Canelo Alvarez. If you look at his resume, I mean, luminaries up and yeah. down. It's incredible just how he the good little man. Although when we looked at this fight, we talked about Charlo having the same. Charlo trying to find a way. As I mentioned, this is his 24th yep. world championship scorer. Steve Hart gave Charlo round five, but Canelo's here, and just like every other round, it begins with that Canelo maybe has an opportunity to close the show. I mean, Canelo Alvarez has never been stopped. He's kind of an exclamation mark about the way things have gone here. Now he's stopping the impact on uh, Jamal Charlo. Putting it all together. Now in the final 45 seconds. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm mean, no, no, here. I know. I mean, there is glass of, of him trying, but again, it's yes. just Canelo. This is for a reason a wise man yeah. once said. Yeah. Yeah. Carlos and Clyde on its feet, saluting. He's on his way. Super middleweight championship. All three in favor of the winner. And still, the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Um, I'm proud of myself. Uh, he ain't knocked me out. You know, I thought the other guys out. He hit me with some hard shots. I felt like I got mine off, but, you know.